there this is Carlo welcome to another quick tutorial firstly I would have liked to apologize I've got my son in the room um, so if he shouts or screams he's actually playing Smurfs on a Wii U at the moment so I do apologize about that right so this is a quick prep um, USB prep video um, on how to set up um, a USB thumb drive for um, an AMD um, uh, Hackintosh bootloader that's 10.10 .10. so basically I'm just going to quickly show you guys how you actually do that right so firstly I mean Tony Max um, if you do know Tony Max you will have to register and you have to download a few bits so at the moment I've just downloaded UniBeast and I'm just going to go back to downloads and then we're going to download Yoast MultiBeast for Yosemite which is here and then I'm going to click download for that and let that download. What I've also done is I've prepped my um, uh, USB 8 gigabyte device. So you want a USB device 8 gigabyte or above. And I've just literally named it Hackintosh. Um, what I've done is I've gone into partition um, and I've just created a single partition, named it Hackintosh 10.10. .10, um, and then applied that and now that is showing up on our desktop here um, so that's ready to be um, basically installed upon okay so once if I just come back here once these two have been installed what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my downloads folder um, this is actually a Hackintosh build that I will be building in February so look out for that so there'll be step-by-step -step instructions and what I'm just going to do is just I'm just going to unzip uh, Unibeast Beast bootloader, and then I'm just going to unzip Multi Beast as well, which will give me a separate folder. Now you will need to download Yosemite um, from the App Store, which I have done. You will need a working Mac to do this, or Hackintosh, anything with an OS X operating system on. Um, so download that and make sure that's in your application folder. And once you do that, what we're going to do is we're going to double click on UniBeast and we're just going to open UniBeast up. And this is basically our UniBeast installer. I'm going to click continue on that. Continue, continue. I'm going to agree to the license. And this is where our Hackintosh is going to be put onto. So this is our thumb drive, our bootloader. So I'm just going to click on that and then click on continue. You can use any of these OSs you want. All depends on what you want to install hence Mavericks mountain lion or lion but for this one I'm going to click on Yosemite I'm going to click continue I'm going to use USB legacy support uh, for that and then I'm going to click continue then I'm going to re-pick well I'm sorry I'm not going to pick anything this is basically verifying your installation options so basically you're going to be installing Yosemite legacy USB support and this is the drive it's going to be going on so what I'm going to do is click continue, put in my password, then I'm going to click OK to authorise that. And what that's going to do is that's going to install um, basically OS X um, via UniBeast onto my drive. This is compatible with AMD and Intel. Um, obviously you're going to be using different Kex in MultiBeast for that. So do your research on Tony Max. Um, but um, in February the build will be taking place an AMD build uh, we're going to be using an FX6300 uh, 6 core processor um, with a gigabyte motherboard but I will explain exactly what the setup is going to be closer to the time but for this video obviously we're just going to be installing uh, the bootloader getting that all basically prepped now this might take some time so be patient with it. It might look like it's going to stop, but just like I say, be patient with it um, and it will install. Once this is done, um, I'll get back to you and then we'll continue on the next stage of the process. Right, so installation's complete as you can see. So we're all done with the Uni Beast. Now that took about 45 minutes to uh, complete, so it can take some time. So do be patient with it. So once that's done, we'll open up our bootloader and as you can see um, we've got our Yosemite and our installer and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my multi-beast and then I'm just going to drag it inside 
so that's ready as well and it's in a safe place to be so once the uh, we do the boot up and we finally get into OSX we have multi beast ready to load our kex and all our bits and pieces so I hope this has helped please stay tuned for part two which is going to be the actual AMD build of this Hackintosh um, and we're going to have in part three the full installation from start to finish um, that's kex the whole lot on how you would get this um, installation running as smooth as it can be thanks for listening guys and i'll see you in part two